So I, I think um, both sides want to have a juror that's going to be fair and open-minded, but also a juror that would be sort of more sympathetic or understanding of their side of the case. Um, red flags, anybody who has already formed an opinion on his guilt or innocence to the extent that they wouldn't um, be impartial or wouldn't listen to the evidence. And hopefully those candidates will be sussed out during the jury selection. One of the problems in the jury selection process in this case is everybody on the on the group of jurors of the Venare, uh, as it's called, will have heard about this case. And most people have formed some sort of opinion. So the question is whether their opinion will, um, they can overcome their own biases and still be fair and impartial and listen to the evidence. You know, I think it cuts both ways. His celebrity status, I think, uh, arguably cuts both ways in this case. Um, I think we hold our heroes to a higher standard sometimes. Um, and there's been so much, um, so many reported incidents in the NFL in the last couple of years between everything from Adrian Peterson to, uh, I can't remember who was the Baltimore Raven, uh, Ray Rice maybe, um, other professional football players who have been accused of criminal wrongdoing, that um, there's this uh, flavor that some of these players are, think they're all above the law. That being said, you have a bunch of, I'm sure there are going to be a bunch of Patriot fans in the Venare and, and some Patriot fans on the jury. 